So here we have the Vauxhall Zafira on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of it from there. As we approach the back of the car you can see we have reversing sensors. Currently all seven seats are in place so this is the amount of boot space you have as a seven seater. You can obviously fold down the rear two to give you even more space again and you can even fold down the middle section for even more space beyond that. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside but now that we've done a full circle of it you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the top, we have the fuel gauge and cool and temperature gauge. And beneath that, the main trip computer section, which includes the total miles of the car, which are only 31,536. You'll see we also have a digital readout for the speedometer in that section as well. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. And on the right-hand side, stereo and phone controls. Over in the center, you'll find the main stereo itself, uh, just here, of course, and the screen directly above it. When it comes to music in this car, we've got the radio. You can see on the screen, we have DAB, AM and FM radio. You can listen to your own music via the CD player. There's also USB input in this car as well. And you can pair your phone from here. The main volume for the stereo is of course there and this dial can be used to access certain options as you can see up on the screen and be used to scroll and enter certain menus. Below that we then have the air conditioning so you can determine the temperature, the fan speed, the direction the air is being distributed in, that button turns your air conditioning on and it's on at the moment and off again of course. You can recirculate the air that's in the car that's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you've set. Underneath that, we have some storage, a 12 volt charging socket, auxiliary and USB inputs for your music, and then the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Mac One Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.